Are you tired of this happening to you? Ah, this keeps happening to me. Oh, we got a TV commercial too. I want to see this shit. How, how good's their VA going to be? I want to know. Better be a good one. Oh, double click. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, PU, metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. That's at 555 Home Safety. That's right, 555 Home Safety. Didn't even have a VA, I had to do it. This is so sad. Do you have any of these phobias? If you have any of these phobias, this may not be the stream for you. I don't have any of these phobias, so I'm not worried about it. Not a single clown, right? We're fine. I don't see a single clown thing in there. I have all of them. What are you, collecting phobias? <sighs> Finally, got the last phobia, dude. Very rare. Which one? Homophobia? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you got tryptophobia. You got a fear of holes. That's cool. Me too. I don't have any fear of any hole. We got email. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We're pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties and we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. And then I watched the corporate video. Yep, yep, yep. Some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these and they will be cleared up in due time. Okay, so watch them. Got it. Uh, this is nice. They got like a little Discord link here if you want to join in that. I gotta, I gotta jump into the hotline though. Monday. Oh, fuck. Garfield hates Mondays. Oh. A dubious be booting up. Welcome, employee, to begin shift. Please clock in below. I love work from home. This app sucks, dude. Uh, so what do I have? Bed bugs? That's easy. I know what those are. They're fucking little freaks. I fucking hate them. I hate them. I know what a bed bug is. Uh, I know what bees are. Obviously. Uh, we got audio sample here. You hear the bees? Alright. Uh, we got black mold. Yeah, that is- Oh, I'm getting a call here. Hi. Do you don't mind if I, like- Okay, I gotta listen to you. All right, Carol. All right, Carol. All right, Carol. Okay, Carol. Okay, Carol. All right, Carol. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay, awesome. That's not a bed bug? See, I agree with you. That's definitely not a bed bug. Uh, bed bugs are way more fucking scary. Ants? We got ants. This is a world where bed bugs are fucking weird. That's a roach, though. That's definitely a roach. I have a friend named Roach. Uh, we got gophers. We got flies. We got spiders. I know about spiders. We got mice and moles. Oh, hello. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Okay, let me put you on hold real quick, John. Um, uh, specks of mold. Let's see. That's gonna be specks of coffee. It's gonna be black mold, right? Some specks of dirt in the kitchen. Got it. It's probably mold. It could be bed bugs, because bed bugs do infest all parts of the home, right? Uh, no, but there's no rashes or anything, so I'm gonna probably go black mold, but let me check real quick. What about termites? Do they leave any specks of dust behind? Ah, oh, no, we got- it's gotta be black mold. There you are, John. I love helping, John. You're welcome, John. I'm here to assist you. Great job, me, and great for you, John. Look at that little dude. That's a high-res image. Hopefully we get a call back from John about what's going on in he home, but it's always mold. It's always mold! Ooh. Oh, hello. Is that John? Sorry, John, I was listening to the sound of a fly buzz. Hi, I'm so sorry. My hello, Grace. Grace. 
just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Okay, let me put you on hold real quick. E e e e uh mice gotta be mice right this guy it's gotta be mice i was gonna say monkeys in the attic but it's gotta be, it's gotta be mice duh like obviously there are not there's not like a fucking there's not a chimpanzee that escaped from the zoo that broke into your attic so uh please hold it's mice it's mice it's gotta be mice it's a giant thumb it's markiplier he's up there in your attic and he's going e e e e e he's up there is that John? Oh, Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Massive yeah, piles I'm of shit! Again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Huge piles of brown. Please hold. That's got to be either gophers or, or a raccoon, right? I mean, do raccoon leave huge piles of brown? No, that's more trash, trash can and rustling. What about moles? Do moles leave huge piles of brown? Let's see, moles, moles, right? But there's also gophers. It's got to be gophers or moles. If it's huge piles of brown, it's it's probably... Well, let me check ants real quick. Okay, no, I'm thinking... God, mole or... I'm thinking moles. Because the mole, the mole mentions volcano-shaped mounds. So I'm thinking moles, not gophers. Huge piles of brown. Huge mounds. <laughs> Talking about mounds, have you seen your mom lately? I've, uh, <laughs> Is that John? Is he calling back? John! John here again. I got beef with you. He got you. beef with me! Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. Fuck, I failed John. How could I have done this? I failed him. How was it not black mold? What else could it have been? Flies, spiders, moles, or... Maybe termites, or like, could it could it have been ticks? Oh, hello, Twig uh, Sigmund. Sigmund Love this guy. Oh shit! Oh, uh, not Twig now. Sigmund. Son of a bitch! I gotta go catch my fridge. Apparently, my fridge is running away. It was gnomes. It's probably always gnomes. I'm not gonna lie. We'll see. Oh, you know, maybe it was mice for John, but like, I felt like it was little black specks in the kitchen. Hey, hey Tim. You guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Tim, I can't mow your lawn for you, Tim. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn is giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys. He sent some guys up to get this done. His lawn? Okay, Please one hold. second. Is it ticks? Did your son get sick from tick? I'm gonna I'm gonna assume for Tim it's ticks. Your son got ticks, I'm sorry. Your son is bloated with ticks. So fucking sorry, Tim. Tim, I'm sorry. Your son is bloated with ticks. It's gotta be ticks. Ticks for Tim. Your shift has ended. Accuracy 75%. Hey! I feel like I only failed with John. Awesome. I didn't get the bonus though. This is so sad. Your son is filled with ticks, Tim. But I didn't get the Monday bonus. This shit sucks. Uh, did I get a new video? N any new video? Mail. Brand new mail. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You, I don't yeah. know me, but I used to have you, your job. You are not in danger. Quit today before I eat too late. Well, you don't get no ill enough. It's not too late for you to quit freely. Trust at me. Nah, sorry, Mike. I don't know you. Nah, sorry, Mike. I don't know you. I don't talk to weirdos, Mike. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I don't know you. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I don't know you, buddy. Ah, uh, you didn't use any good punctuation, Mike. I'm sorry about that. I don't listen to people without good punctuation, so... Gonna have to disagree with you there, buster. New day, new day, new day. But you talk to chat all the time. 
Yeah, but like chat doesn't email me. That's a professional email. New day, new day, new day, new day, new day. All right, what do we have here? Anything new in here? Bees, roaches, go for You know, maybe John was roaches. Let me check roaches real quick. I feel like it wasn't, it wasn't roaches though. Oh, coffee grounds. It literally was roaches. What do you mean? Fucking black mold. That one's a tricky one. I gotta like actually look at these entries. Fuck. New information! I won't share it with anybody. Right, chat? We're all confidential here, right, chat? Okay, Carol. Thank you, Carol. Let's take a little look-see here. We have cellar growths. Okay. Carbon monoxide. Bed teeth. Ooh, bed teeth. We love bed teeth. Uh, bats. Oh, shit. Little guys. A common hob. Oh, shit. More little guys. Uh, we got a desk hob. See, these are a little bit more uh, freaky. Oh, shit. What's up? <sighs> Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my Black ventilation mold. or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Mold. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay, let me put you on hold. Uh, it's probably a false beat. Could it be a pipe growth? No, they, they eat a full meal. It couldn't be a stair slope. This has got to be a black mold. Let's see if sneezing is in the black mold diary here. The allergic reaction. It's gotta be mold. Nope, that's bed bugs. Gotta be mold. Get molded, Mike. Nice. Let's take a little look, see what else we have. Pipe hob? Oh, little guys inside of the pipe. They consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning it in the process. So they are in tubes. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, oh shit, it's gotta be a hob. Gotcha, it's gotta be a hob. Um, so cleaning... What is a fracture hob? These are cracks and fractures. These guys are evil. Hobs are clean boys, right? They only come out at night. Uh, they are normal. Okay, so it's it's gotta be a common hob, I believe. There's not like a living room hob. So I'm thinking common hob, right? Gotta be a hob. Hob gobbler, real. Oh! All right, what else have I not looked at yet? Frozen pipes, that's a thing, for sure, for sure, for sure. House fires, that's a thing, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, people, uh, smell burning. It's probably a house fire, not gonna lie. Okay, okay, well, I'm figuring this out. Do bed bugs also cause an allergic reaction? Well, not sneezing. A oh, buzz goober! Goober here, been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. A lot of snappers, Buzz Goober. He's fucking snipping and snapper. He got a lot of whipper snappers out here, ain't he? My name is Buzz Goober here. Brendan, what the fuck? That's my uncle? Oh, sorry about that. I forgot about the illustrious Goober family. Okay, so yeah, he was a prank call. Got it. Not a real guy, Buzz Goober. Please only call the hell home safety hotline if you have like a real problem. Fuck. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. Teeth. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. please okay. Hold. There are teeth in my house. Got it. Let's take a little look-see at our, uh, our options here. What does a stair slug do? Uh, well, that's obvious. We're looking for teeth marks of some sort. And what about that fracture hob? Cracks and fractures, but no teeth marks. What about the false beat? Well, let's check bed teeth. No, bed teeth are more so... 
I don't think bed teeth would leave marks on that. Maybe a bat? Maybe mice? I'm thinking mice. Gnaw marks and... Yeah, gnaw marks are mice. I don't think anything else I have is accurate to that. Bed posts could be termites. No, because termites I think would be more obvious, so it's gotta be mice or something else. Please hold. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to hear termites. I think it's mice. Couldn't be cellar growths, right? Because the, yeah, the no, the teeth marks on the bedpost are are immediately like, oh, it's got to be mice. Maybe ants though. Let me check. No, they nestle inside of wood, but they're not gonna bite. They're not gonna gnaw. I think it's mice. I'm probably wrong on this bit, but I'm I'm going for mouse mice. I think it's mice. You got mice in your house? Yeah. There aren't wall hobs? No, there aren't wall hobs. Mice. Is mice the multiple of mouse, or is mice the multiple of moose? I'll never know. This bothers me. If you give a mouse a cookie, he'll kill you. Hello? Hello, Fred. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while. But then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Okay, hearing about a noise in your house lately, scratching. It's just mice again, right? Couldn't Please be mice. Hold. Uh, scratching inside of your house. That could be... No droppings. And termites don't make noises, so it won't be termites. Got it. would be a raccoon. Scratching or something. Interesting. It's just a little scratching. You're true. Do carpenter ants make a little scratching noise? Faint rustling sound? I'm gonna say carpenter ants, I'm not gonna lie. I have a vibe. I'm thinking carpenter ants, fuck. What about frozen pipes? Oh, banging sounds. We want scratching noises. There's an audio sample? Oh, for, uh... For ants? It's gotta be that, right? These wouldn't do it. It's gotta be carpenter ants. Everybody is getting carbon monoxide poisoning. That's what's up. I'm hoping I'm right, Fred. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. That's pretty scratchy. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say that's pretty scratchy. I saw the spider. There's a spider in my house. I've seen a spider in there. Alright, who did I fuck up? This has gotta be a fuck up. Oh, Dan! That's a desk cob. That's gotta be a desk cob. I think desk cobs organize, right? Gotta be a desk cob. Order a sort and order materials in desks. Yeah, okay. That's definitely that's definitely a desk cob. He's fucking with all your papers, dude. Leave breadcrumbs every night on the desk. This will make them happy. This will please the hob. Hey, a hundred percent! Yeah! Fuck yeah, day two, we fucking got him. We are professionals at our job. Day one, fucking suck. Day two, we rocked that shit. Oh, hell yeah. New video. The real estate update. This 460, uh, this, uh, this, uh, 1,000 square foot home with one bed and two bathrooms can be yours for only $84,000. Contact 555-231-1222. This lovely home, what, 1,600 square feet at 983 Berry Lane can be yours for only $104,000. Contact 555-535-1331. And this wonderful 2,120 square foot home at Parkway Street could be yours for the low, low price of $120,000. God, oh, sorry. There's a free house for you, Jim. A civil authority has issued a missing person alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. If you live in any of these counties, please respond. This is a missing person's alert. Damn, they got a robot. Looking for missing child, Robbie Parker, male. Robbie! Hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on the shrub shirt. man. Last Holy shit. Did Robbie get abducted by the shrub man? Why does that house only $12,000? I would take that. Give me that house at Barry Lane. 
He got Bushman. He got Shrubman. Oh my god, he got Iowa Stickman. Did he get Iowa Stickman? I think he got Iowa Stickman. This is fucked. Uh, ooh. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? Oh, sorry. To pay for gefave, you are access to more EI info, diftent they. I wondered you if you end up like your Q me. Join me in. It, join me tin this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's for safe, theory. Join me in this hole? Free hole? We gotta join him in- we gotta join Mike in the hole? Attention call team, our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week, so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down and while you are on the phone with the client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Fuck. They're- they're throwing me a curveball here. And I got a coupon! Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for a used horseshoe. Our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up all you can. Oh, I could buy $16.99 for a used horseshoe. Oh, we could play in our backyard all day, chat. Chat, I got a stick in my backyard. I'm so fucking excited to put that thing vertical style. We're gonna be tossing that rusty ass horseshoe back and fucking forth. I score a point, you score a point. I score a point, you score a point. It's gonna be fucking sick. I'm so fucking excited. All right, new day. We're so fucked, by the way. We're so fucked. Now they expect me to remember this shit. We are so fucked. Clock in. Okay, we got a real fast look at all our shit. All, all the weird shit. We'll hinder you, Brendan. Don't worry. I, I would hope so, apparently. Um. Pipe growths. Bubbling, bubbling grew, bubbling, bubbling pipe, bubbling meal. Got it. H pipe hob. Uh, clean. Hobs, hobs clean in certain circumstances. Slugs. Uh, they are stairwells and basements. Slimy residue is a slug. Got it. Shit. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carol! Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not okay. to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Uh, what did I get? Uh, mirror nymph, okay. Uh, subspecies of nymphs that are known for stealing the likenesses of homeowners, carrying a large mirror, or for not being able to recognize their own face. Okay, that's a mirror wisp. What about a memory wisp? Um... Invisible and odorless, removing memories from the home and the homeowners, missing pictures, photo albums, and inability to remember loved ones' faces. Got it. Lamp sprite. Uh, sprites that make their homes inside of light fixtures. Uh, hello? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. Slug. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Please okay. Hold. Gotcha. Uh, let me just make sure fake rosebush, uh, missing pets, false artifacts, uh, out of place objects, missing children or pets. Anything else? Bogart? Bogart? Flooding forest files, seven feet tall. Uh, false faces. Got it. I think it's a slug, because I think this slug, uh, talks about dog. Yeah, it's got to be a stair slug. I got you, don't you fucking worry. Stair slug. I'm locked the- I, I'm locked the fuck in. Not a slug? It's a slug, it's dog-sized. Tea sprites, so that's a little guy in tea. Uh, sound of fluttering near kitchens. She also said steps. Oh, that was the bush man, shit. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this, uh, Nasty smell. Please hold. Okay, so that's got to be a pipe growth, probably, right? They're stanky. No, not a pipe growth. Shit. I know there's a toilet guy. Do frozen pipes have a bad smell? Strange smells. Okay, that's probably a frozen pipe. But I'm gonna check. Um, uh, unicorn fungi. The heads of animals. Whistling fungi. Whistling sound from their walls. Wine. Wine sprites. Wood secretions. Okay. I think that's a pipe. I think that's frozen pipes. 
Frozen pipes are smelly. They stinky. Gotta have some stinky pipes in this son of a bitch. We're gonna fail this day so fucking hard. They're gonna make fun of us at the office. Uh, I think I got everything else, though. We're gonna get a call about how bad we are. Read on this guy. My wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. My... My wife. That's what you sound like, buddy. That's what you sound like, Buster. My, my wife. My wife. Uh, my, me, me. Yeah. Anyway, let me put you on hold real quick, buddy. This fucking guy with your phone. My, my wife. My, my wife. Inability to remember the faces of loved ones. That's a memory wisp. My, my, my wife. Uh, memory wisp will move out of the house on their own once they've stolen away the inhabitants' memories. No need for action. Okay, well, hey, good to tell you, buddy, but you're fucked. Whoopsies. Get wisped. No, I think it's a memory wisp, but Mirror Nymph would be, uh, not being able to recognize your own face, right? Mirror Nymph is you can't recognize your own face. Memory wisp is you can't remember other people's face. Duh. You're silly, you're silly. What about a false artifact? Missing out-of-place objects, missing children or pets. Very young human children or small animals. Got it. I'm trying to learn out here. Hello? Home safety hotline. Brent Daniel here. Oh shit, Fred yeah, Pinball! Fred Pinball, I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and... Pebbles, yeah, that, sorry, that was me. First day on the job, I really I like to leave a lot of sod around. A I'm a big fan of soft, loamy soil. Well, me, personally, uh, I'm going to put more soft, loamy soil around your home. You need more soft, loamy soil. Uh, fungi that look like a dog head. Pets furiously digging in around the house. Uh, wood secretions. We got those sticky, oozy walls. Hello. Did I fuck up anything? Hello, Harvey. Uh, hi? Hi, uh, I, pushes uh, up glasses. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, bed teeth. My bed teeth. Nasty, sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Bed teeth. Do I need to be showering? Bed teeth. I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Motherfucker gotta have bed teeth. Gotta have bed teeth. I know this is bed teeth, you stupid bitch. I gotta fuck it. Oh, fuck off. You fucking, you fucking. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have a network error. Oopie, oopie, oopie. Bed teeth. Fuck you. It's bed teeth. Brandon, don't make fun of him. He's you. Um, pushes up glasses. No. Oh, shit. I have a network error. He got bed teeth. Hey, can somebody, uh, unplug the ethernet and plug it back in, please? Can somebody, can somebody, uh, can, can somebody, I, my, my, uh, can somebody, uh, uh, can somebody, uh, I can't read anything right now. Oops, this is gonna be scary. Hello? Oh, shit. I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling, I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Fracture hob. I remember that one. That's gotta be a fracture hob. They're evil. Do I have my shit back? Thank God. Um, cracks and fractures in the wall. Yeah, so that's gotta be- She specifically said cracks, so it's gotta be a fracture hob. Got it. No, not a false artifact. Fuck, wrong info. Fracture hob. I got you. We're hobbing out. Uh, prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. That'll get rid of the hobs. Yeah, it wasn't a pipe burst. It, it, if it was like a- if it was like a fake pipe or a fucked up pipe, um, then there would be more than cracks. If there was a pipe growth. Listen to this urgling and gurgling. Oh shit, what's up? Did I fuck up? Hey Gary. package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? Yeah. What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. 
your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows Well, Gary, that's your own fault, Gary. So talk to your man. Did you not leave out a bowl of cream? Okay, well, let me see. Weird noises coming from my living room. What would be weird noises coming from the living room? The cream, if the if he tried to do the cream and it didn't work. Noises. Maybe just frozen pipes? Oh, this is a metamorphosized top. Got it. Oh! Power outages. Oh, okay, he's got a, he's got a bugger. He got a big boy in there. He got a beefy boy in there. So he's stupid as hell and he let that hob evolve like a Pokemon. So, uh, anyway, yeah, you gotta leave your home. Yeah, real 83, I mean 83, 83.3334 is fine. It's not 90, so I didn't get the fucking coupon. I missed one. I only I missed one. I tried my best. Ooh, science mysteries. We love mysteries of science. The world is a wonderful and wide place. And out here in space, you can find so many mysteries. Science mysteries. The mysteries of mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. That motherfucker be like from Ratatouille. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. A newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Are they turning people into fucking mice? Peanuts, and yet, Modern science has observed they are Fuck you! Thinking, Is that gonna be the fucking bit? And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communicating. Is that gonna be a whole fucking bit? Are they turning people into fucking mice? With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Brendan, how do you turn someone into a mouse? Well, why did the one email ask me to go in the mouse hole? And that I would join them soon. What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common? <laughs> Tell me about the mice, George. Well, Tell me about the mice. I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. We love science mysteries. And also, uh, fucking, let me check my mail real quick. Quit before it's too late. It's literally, uh, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. That's gonna be the bit. Our new office pet. Oh, and they got a cat! And they got a fucking cat! They turning people into mice! That's gonna be the whole fucking bit. I swear to God. Oh, fucking A. Bro, but what if we were turning people into mouse? <laughs> this is just like Roald Dahl's The Witches. They were turning kids into mice. I'm gonna talk to Carol, my supervisor, and she's gonna take off her shoes, and she's not gonna have any toes. She's not gonna have any toes! This is Roald Dahl's The Witches! You don't sound too cheesed about this. I'm fucking... If I was a cheese right now, I'm not good enough. Brendan, you get to become a mouse barista. I can't wait to sell rat coffee to people. I'm so fucking excited about it. I'm so excited to sell rat coffee to people. People are going to come all around to my little rat cafe to get my rat coffee. Miniaturized rat coffee for all of my friends. I make the coffee. I get some little rat money. I take my rat money. I go to the rat Walmart. I buy accoutrements at the rat Walmart. I'm buying big packs of normal human beef jerky at the rat Walmart with all my tip money for my rat cafe. <sighs> I'm watching episodes of 12 Ounce Mouse on my 12 Ounce CRT rat television. Anyway, with Thursday, 
It's mice, not rats. Uh, and get, give them the fucking nerd emoji right now. I want to see. I want to see some fucking nerd emoji replies to that. It's mice, not rats. I want to see just to just fucking round glasses. I want to see some nerd emojis right now with that. Pushes up glasses. It's mice actually, and not rats. Rats are different. Um, mice, rats, members of the family rodentia, all sorts of shit. Hello, Carol. Hello. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. What do you mean our eyes rest upon thee? That's so fucked. Our eyes rest upon thee. Okay. New entries, attic gnome. Oh. <laughs> Bunch of dust out of the vents and knocking cellar grotto. Do you got a grotto in your cellar? Or are you just happy to see me? The Fey Feast? Edible food substances near eating areas of the home. The Fey Flu. Okay, a bunch of seeds. Got it. Hello, Ash. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug. Just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away. And I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water. Because we only eat fresh homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fix for us? Okay, he got a tummy ache. Let me check. Uh, it's not the horde, obviously. Floor roots, no. Laundry gnome, no. Any of these new ones. Ain't got a portal in there, right? Travel gnome? Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Gotta be something with pipes, but I don't think it's a pipe growth. Clog the- yeah, because pipe growths clog the pipe indefinitely. Will a pipe hop make you sick? Pipe hops won't make you sick. Okay. Will frozen pipes make you sick? Okay, let me check pipe growths again. Let me check their danger. No, they, they won't eat you. What about pipe hops? Leaks or clogs? Okay, those don't do anything. Something's wrong with our faucet. Shit. Let me see. No, that's bursting and water damage. Shit. This one's tough. They're getting- they're getting- we're getting into like the toughies now. What about cellar growths? No, that's slimy residue. What about just simple old black mold? No, those won't be in the pipes. Shit, dude. I don't know about this one. This one's tough. Uh, aches and pains. Something's wrong with the water. We only eat the fresh- wait a minute. We only eat homegrown fruits. False beat! Oh, it's a false beat! They were trying to trick me! It's a fake beat! They're eating false beets out there. He's eating the wrong kind of beets. He's eating false beets out there. Uh, did digestive issues was the tell. Oh, shit, sorry. Let me answer. Ah, the old fake beet. Hello, Wanda. Hello? I followed every instruction. Oh, did I fuck up with Wanda? I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control. She told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay, so Wanda's wasn't a fracture hob. Interesting, because I definitely thought Wanda's was a fracture hob. What about a night gnome? What does a night gnome do? Report sightings in the middle of the night, heavy breathing sounds during the late hours, night wisp. Not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Uh, known to hover outside of windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Got it. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Hello, Felicia. Oh, shit! Shadow at night at night gnome. Just oh, I was just reading about house. night gnomes. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there. It's a night gnome! I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week. Just I'm fucking the terrified! The police said Me and Gam Gam 1 and Gam Gam 2 are meeting up for fucking old lady b-ball later. I can't I can deal with this! Anymore. Oh, Grandma got gnomed? Please yeah, it's gotta be a night gnome, obviously. Right there. Deep breathing. Yeah, heavy breathing sounds outside of a window. They watch her sleep. Got it. I know that one. I'm very smart. Three grandmas! Three grandmas, three times the fudge. You get triple fudge with three grandmas. That's a lot of grandma. 
Ma'am, you have to get- what are you gonna do? Uh, they may become bored or restless by your inhabited sleeping activities. There will be no guarantee if they become uh, bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. What's a laundry gnome? I gotta know. Uh, thick fiber-like fur, fold their bodies into various shapes. Loud rattling or banging sounds coming from the washing machine. They steal they sock. Okay. Just you pay them no mind. Hello, Hello Belinda. Yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Yes. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop Attic gnome. coughing. Attic gnome, because they have, uh, I was reading about that, ventilation issues. Air quality is bad, Ooh, awful bang oh. banging noises. That's got to be an, an attic gnome, right? Because they have, uh, surplus of dust coming out of the ventilation, uh, banging and rapping noises. I got you. It's an attic gnome. I got you. You got a lot of gnome in your home. This is a gnome night. It's gnome Thursday. It's fucking Gnome Thursday, bitch! But does that cause sick? I mean, a lot of dust will cause sick. Air- she mentioned air quality, specifically. So, causing air quality issues in the household. When somebody mess message- like, when somebody says, like, a specific thing, that's always, like, gotta be the bit. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you! Okay, May. Buzzing noises, okay. So they, 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 it's gotta be a creature and it stole him and it gotta sound like bees, but it's not bees. What if it is just bees? Okay, alright, let's see. It's not the Fey Feast. And it's not a false rose bush, cause it's in... Could still be a false rose bush, but I don't think that they would be in bed. What about a portal? Does a portal sound like bees? I don't think it's portals. It can't just be bees. The bees didn't take him. All right, yeah, where's a false artifact again? Does that sound like bees? See, it doesn't have any sound. Oh, it, buzzing noises. It is a lost artifact. Buzzing noises that can only be heard by young human children. And, uh, okay, yeah, we got it. There are bees inside my CRT! We got that shit. Lock it down. Lock it down, dude! I'm fucking awesome, actually. Okay, so bee sounds from the false artifacts. Yeah, a whole hive picked up my son and took him away. They put him in a little bee costume and he just is eating honey out the hive and I can't get him out of there. Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. Okay, Leo. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously- That's gotta be a fracture hob. As well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. Oh, yeah, uh, that's a fracture hob. They love cheese. About this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Please hold. Yeah, uh, that's definitely a fracture hob because fracture hobs like cheese, right? They mentioned that. Yeah, that's a fracture hob, 100%. They were eating half of the cheese. Bunch of the cheese. Give me some yummy cheese, please! Brennan, that's clearly the, clearly the bees. The, the cheese is honey. Hey, it's me, Big Cheddar, and I don't think anything is better. Literally me when I'm Big Cheddar and I think nothing is better. Feed him more cheese, he hungers for the cheese. Gub rubber! What the fuck, a cheesy greaser, dude? We could talk to- we could talk a little bit about the cheesy greaser. I don't have any pepper squeeze, I'm all out of pepper squeeze. Sorry. 100% out of pepper squeeze, but I- I do got a lot of cheesy greasers. Hey, Phil. Hey, so, my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why, he won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um... 
So I've recently been having just the worst headaches and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Eyes are kind of pink. Where's Faye Fever at? The Faye Flu. It, uh, you know what? I'm just going to guess Faye Flu. They took my fucking internet access away, these bastards. That was uh, that was all pink. It's got to be bees. It's got to be the... Just, uh, fu fuck it. Faye Flu. I think that's the only disease on this list, right? Yeah, I think that's the only disease on the list. Got to be bees. Oh, he's got to have bees. You got to tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over okay, here. Okay, Kyle. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. Goblin? She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Okay, alright. Uh, bunch of holes in the house. Termites. No, it couldn't be portals, because I think portals is one singular one, right? So let's go through. Uh, he doesn't have a strong desire to enter, so I don't think it's that. Maybe termites... But, like, I don't know if they're going to throw a humdinger at me, right? And, like, termites wouldn't eat the dog. And it's not a cellar grotto. Okay. Holes. Lots and lots of holes. Yeah, and it's not, not wood secretions. So termites is a bit... I mean, it could be a bogart, a boggart. They would take the dog. No, they would do, they would do flooding or fires or, or electricity. God, I'm really going to push for termites here. Yeah, I'm going to push for termites here, I think. I don't think it could be anything else. I think this one's a trick. I think this one's supposed to be termites. He ha he has a bunch of holes. All right, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is Christmas? in my living room. I'm back from vacation, and the house is already turning into a disaster. Not 24 hours later, and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. Roots. What? is happening is is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something Please okay a bunch hold. of soil and plants is that seedlings or is that floor roots no it couldn't be seedlings so it's got to be floor roots right no that might not be it shit this one's tough bees are pollinating too hard it's not always bees it couldn't be well this one's just tough no that's that's couldn't be that <sighs> covered in soil and plants what about the horde no, that's rotten food, used syringes, and uh, household hazards. That's treasure. God, this one's tough. I don't fucking know. A bunch of soil in your home? Wouldn't be a hob. Would it be ants? It wouldn't be ants. No fucking way. You got carbon monoxide, I'm sorry. No, this would be cellars and basements. This is the living room. I think it's the roots. See, but like, if it's the floor roots, like maybe? But I don't know about floor roots. I'm gonna pick floor roots as like my backup one, right? But... There gotta be something else. What's she saying? Her call to you? It looks like a nursery in there. A bunch of plants back from vacation. 24 hours later, my living room is an absolute disaster. Looks like a nursery in there. What the false bush does? It steals people. It eats people. Oh, travel gnome! Oh shit, you're right. Expansive gardens inside of their new home. Oh! I gotta pay attention to travel gnomes. You can't sleep on them. We got that shit. Just got back from vacation. It's a travel gnome! Duh. They be in the suitcase. Do not let them out. Yeah, just weed killer. Spray a bunch of weed killer in there. Hello, Kyle. I well, fucked up. I, I, I was wrong with Kyle. Bad news is the info you sent wasn't any help at all, so, uh... I'm sorry, Kyle. That. Good news is I found Goblin. She freaking came crawling out of that hole with a big bump on her head or something, so I'm taking her to the vet now. But, uh, oh, yeah. was it a portal? Thanks for trying, I guess. Could it have been a portal? Really? I feel like that would be compelled. Oh, maybe it was the heating problem. Oh, okay. I thought it was just a myriad of different holes. See, I'm fucking weird. Oh, unicorn fungus. It was the unicorn fungus. How was it the unicorn? He All he mentioned was holes. Oh, because the pets were digging inside the house. I failed the dog. Hello, Larry. There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. 
I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a Oh, you got a basement grotto. Please send somebody to help with this. Bitch, I got you. You, you got a grotto in the basement. This shit happens all the time to me. You got a basement grotto. I know what the fuck. I know what you got a cellar grotto. We know what the fuck's up. He got a grotto. Bad smell from the basement, horrible noises, lots of water. You gotta find their creator and gift them, uh, you have to give them gold? Give them gold to get rid of the grotto. You have to enter the subterranean lake and give them gold. Please get rid of this grotto. Hey, 88% is still pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It's not 90 fucking percent, but 88% is still pretty good, IMO. It could have been better, could have been a lot better, but I think that's still fine, I think that's still pretty all right. Oh, we got new mail. What? Don't come to the hole. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is. Oh, sorry. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It's this not said to be here. I must find a new head spot. It knows I'm here. Okay. The cat knows. The cat has found the hole. How did he take a picture of the inside of the hole if he's a mouse? Where do they find a mice-sized camera at? That's what I want to know. Where do you source mice-sized cameras? Uh, employee 36, regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we'll need you to come in this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Oh, so you got a bunch more fucking work for me. I get you. Hey, would you like to have a bunch of fucking work? I mean, I guess, sure. Awesome, awesome, cool, 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 cool. I have a bunch more work for you, and I think it's going to be pretty sick. You're using the Game Boy camera to take pictures of the cat inside of the hole? So they do mean we're getting paid overtime, right? No, we're salary. We're a, we're a team player, is what we are. And uh, if we finish off this week, I hear, there's, uh, I hear there's rumblings. There's rumblings all over the place. There's rumblings. We may, in fact, get a pizza party. There's rumblings all over the place, left and right. There may be a chance that we get a pizza party. Think about it. Maybe. Would you be also inclined to get yourself a pizza party if your performance is high? What about a pi- what about a pi- what about a pizza party, huh? Thinking about a, thinking about a, thinking about a pizza party, huh? Two cold Little Caesars pizzas for you and for me. And you gotta share it. I get a whole pizza to myself. Everybody else in the office, you get one sliver of pizza. You know that one old Disney short where it's like Mickey Mouse and Goofy and Donald and they're poor and they're slicing the bean paper thin? It's gonna be like that. Everybody gets one paper slit, paper thin slice of pizza. It 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 whispers in the wind. You can make like you know how you can make a harmonica out of a out of a blade of grass, where you can take a blade of grass and make it make noises. It's gonna be like that that thin blade of grass pizza. Sad. I only got one hundred percent. I fuck it. I need all of the. I need all the horseshoe. We gotta get that money. We gotta save that money. We gotta save big money at Menards. All right, clock in. I'm locked and loaded. What other kind of creatures? What kind of a what kind of a creature are we gonna unlock today? Hey, Carol, you gonna tell me the secrets? Hey, Carol. Oh, oh, that's the bump on the head. Got it. Oh, they grow on the heads of animals. Oh, okay. Hello, Carol. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. Okay, Carol. Your permission You're getting a little weird here, Carol. The great work employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Carol, Carol's starting to get a little weird here. Um, not gonna lie, trash gnome, new guy. Uh, subspecies of gnomes, rotten eggs. So they're like a, they're not a, they're not a raccoon, but they're like a raccoon. Got it. Hello, Patrice. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap, I assume. What? Tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Bees, it's always bees. Uh, tree, is it the sprig tree? They root in the human body, scraps of fabric, and they're infected. Okay, yeah, I mean, that one obviously. Uh, there's a weird tree in my shed. All covered in fabric and black liquid. It's probably that. Ah, oh, black substance right there. Okay, so it's a sprig tree. Brand new one right here. Awesome. Sprig tree. Gotcha. Nah, it's not the fake bush. It's not the fake bush that steals people. She mentioned black liquid and fabric, so 
Guy turned into a tree. What are sprig vines? Uh, rapidly growing vines. Um, a spriggan has been provoked. What about a soap sprite? They make little noises. They occupy bathroom. Spread deadly diseases. They got the they got the crazy soap. What about the rain nymph? Oh uh, God, trying to learn here. Hello, Robert. I, I fucked up with Robert, didn't I? In my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh. The short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Please hold. Okay, is there a kitchen hob? Does a common hob clean kitchens? It's probably just a common hob, right? A pipe hob? Would a pipe hob be in a kitchen? I feel like it'd be a common hob or a pipe hob. This guy, I kind of hate this guy. What about a desk hob? No, it's in the kitchen. So it would it'd be it'd be a pipe hob or it'd be a it'd be a common hob. Is there a kitchen hob? There is not a kitchen hob. There's a kabold. Dog faces. Don't enter their domain. I'm gonna guess. Fuck. Um. I'm gonna guess common hob. Fuck it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. A uh, pipe hob. Pipe hob. Pipe hob. I'm wrong. Whatever. Uh, tunnels easy to get lost in. Gold, silk, rare spices. What's an animation? Got it. Miniature human noises, clattering, and stolen household objects. Got it. Okay. What else are we looking at here? Anything else I missed here? It's probably a pipe hob, but like I just don't. I just don't see it being a pipe hob. from your company one of your home security installation services and not a week later i'm still getting break-ins as i mentioned prior someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing they could be some insane serial killer for all we know singing all i do is sing at night but no one in my family feels safe anymore it's gotta be a gnome I right stupid security alarms even went off Singing at night? So whistling fungi? That's singing, okay. Trash gnomes don't sing. What sings? Bees? Gotta be bees. <coughs> okay, not a rain nymph. Uh, is it a night wisp? No, because there's break-ins. Do kobolds sing? Maybe a kobold? No, it's gotta be- The singing has to be the bit. Be less you. Gotta wish. None of your alarms went off. I'm thinking whistling fungi, singing and not setting off alarms, which probably is the the, the whistling fungi. Yeah, mentioned singing right there. I'm gonna say whistling fungi. You got some fungus among ya. Your house is full to the brim with fungus. You got a tungle infection. Playing Minecraft with your friends through Tungle. Do you remember that? I don't know if anybody else here used Tungle. We used to use Tungle to run like local Minecraft servers, and it used to make this horrible whoop sound every time you logged in. It's like, I think a lot of people used Hamachi at the time, but we wanted to be weird, so we used a different server service. Hey, Flipper here. I've got two. Hey, Flipper. Hey, Flipper. From you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see no, I got you. Face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing. Bro, I got you. Spit, crud, juice, and, uh... Hey, who, who are you? Oh, what the fuck? How did you get in? Flipper lore? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Well, I don't know what happened to Flipper, but he said he's got some nasty dumbbells, and I think I think I should help him out. Did he get moused? I think I should help him, right? It's the it's the proper thing to do, right? I, I should help him, right? I, I should help him. He's got two big dumbbells. I should spit shine them, right? I, I should shine these dumbbells, right? I, I, I couldn't I couldn't possibly fit the whole thing in my mouth, right? So I got... No, I gotta spit shine him, right? Is this a kink thing? I mean, he wanted me to spit shine it, right? For free? I've, I'll polish him. I, you know what? I got wet wipes, so I'll just, I'll just polish him for him. What am I doing? Well, he asked me to spit shine his dumbbells, and I have a dumbbell right here, so I'm just cleaning it off, right? I, did you think I was gonna slob on this knob? But you're fucking silly. I'm not gonna hurt myself. Oh, I don't. I, 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 spit shining doesn't imply that I gotta spit on it. This means I have to clean it. It's just a bit. We said dumbbells. I mean, this is a dumbbell. This is a five pound one. Okay. You want the dumbbell to get bigger? All right. Okay. How's this now? This good? What about this one? Ten pound dumbbell. How about that? Instead of a five pound one. Is this a lot better for you? Is this better? Yeah, that's good. Bigger? Okay. How about the twenty pound dumbbell? All right. How's that one for you? 
Right into slower? I don't know. It's too big. It's too big. It's too big? He said to clean the dumbbell. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing my job. No, larger? Okay. Yeah, so anyway, what about this one? Should I clean this dumbbell? How about this one? Should I clean this one? What about this dumbbell? <laughs> Do you need to be clean? You stinky. Yeah, you stinky. She's stinky. Uh, he died, right? Flipper died? Did that kill him? Are, are they over with the prank calls now? Did they finally acquiesce his location? Access his location. Certified, certified fresh. Got a new call. Hope the internet doesn't go out or I'll freak out. He got moused? Yeah, he probably got moused. This is just like the plot of Halloween 3. Hi, Carol. Hello. Hey. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Oh, Carol killed him. Thanks, Carol. I think, I think thanks, Carol. Farrell. Thanks, Carol. Farrell. I think Carol killed him. All right. Well, that's something. False flower. Oh, shit. No, this was the one with the singing. Fuck. I fucked it up. Damn it. This was the one in the greenhouse. I missed this one. Shit. So I fucked one up for sure. Got it. Hello? Hello, Andy. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Bees. Bees hold. Bees hold a big bug. What is a big bug? Oh shit, fuck, I don't, oh, god damn it, are any of these big bug? I'm just gonna guess bees if I don't know it. Shit. Bug? Chat, do you have any ideas? It flew in through the window. Smell burning. Awful burning. Was oh, it just carbon monoxide maybe? I don't know. I can't figure it out. Shit. I, w I won't know. Oh, lamp, lamp, la lamp sprite. It's got to be a lamp sprite. Yeah. Okay. No, because I remember those have like a specific burning smell. And he saw a bug and a lamp sprite is like a bug. So it's got to be a lamp sprite. Gotcha. It's not bees. It's not bees. Couldn't be. Fix my internet, please. Fix my connection, please. Hello? Carbon monoxide doesn't smell? Yeah, but I can it smell it. My daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Please hold. Awful tendrils? Uh, that'd be the bush, right? Did we finally get the bush? Bush or floor roofs, right? Took her down with it. So, fake bush, floor roots. Could be something else. What about the... What about the cellar growths? Do they have tendrils? No, that's not it. I think it's... It took her, it wrapped around its awful tendrils. And fucking took her. So maybe floor roots, but also maybe... The false rose bush? It got feet. If you look at that son of a bitch, it got feet, but it doesn't look like it takes away. Two humanoid feet, they chase down prey. Okay, so it's probably floor roots, but floor roots are slow is the thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say floor roots maybe. What are our other options here though? What are the sprig vines? Nah, that's just blocking exits. These bite. And burrow. I'm thinking floor roots are the only thing I can think of. Seedlings? No, those are the seedlings make you comp they compel you. So I'm th probably floor roots, but I feel like floor roots are a lot smaller, or they're a lot slower. They grow slow, and they don't take people. Uh, well, the bogger doesn't have te uh, tendrils though. See, the floor roots don't take people though. It's got to be the bees. 
<laughs> Hedge your bets and go floor roots? It says it strangles children. Okay, but it says that it took her. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. And floor roots don't take them down. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they cease their growth. Floor roots don't take, so it's not floor roots. Uh, see, maybe false bush? I'm thunking, I'm thunking. This is a toughie. I think the bush, I think the bush is the likely suspect, IMO. I'm probably wrong. It's gonna be odd if it's floor roots, but what are the sprig, see, sprig vines don't attack though, as they just block um, e egress and ingress. What takes, oh shit, hi. I probably fucked one of these up. Mirror. I'm not me anymore. I'm he, 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 Mirror. He me. Hello, he Helen. Me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me back. Please. I know, Helen. I know this is very scary, Helen. Please hold. But uh, it's just a mirror nymph. That one's easy. That's got to be a mirror nymph. Uh, <laughs> Nah, it couldn't be the horde. I'm trying to think what else it could be about, like, tendrils. Uh, lost, valuable items. I just wanna- I, I like, fuck, what else could that have been that have- that took the child aside from the bush? Maybe the false artifact? Could have been bees. Oh, I fucked up, Albert. So it wasn't the bush. I'm going after her, that thing alone? Like, what else could that have been, a gopher? So it wasn't the bush, was it the floor roots? What do you, uh, the thing about the floor roots is like, it doesn't, it literally mentions that it does it, it strangles, but it doesn't mention that they get taken. Oh wait, no, fuck, by morning the dolls and roots should be gone, fuck. Son of a bitch. I didn't read the solution at the end. I, so. I oh, fucked up, that was my bad, the gophers got her. The horde. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to the horde. Oh, that's a pile. Oh, sorry. Well, see, your husband got a little confused. He he had heard about this thing called the wife pile, right? And what happened was one of his coworkers told him that he, if he built you a wife pile, you would nest in the wife pile, cozy and happy. Husbands get this all the time uh, regarding their wives or other husbands or wives get this about their wives or vice versa. What happens is you build a pile of garbage and the wife sleeps in the pile of garbage and she wakes up happy and wholesome and having a great time. Uh, he was trying to make you a wife pile, but there's not a wife pile anywhere around here. Uh, but a wife pile leads to a wife smile. Please hold. Anyway, that's the horde, right? It mentions needles specifically. Rotten food, use syringes. Yep, 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 yep. You have a horde problem. Yeah, that's the horde. I can tell by their noises outside that that's the horde. You got a horde problem. You got a horn at your doorstep. Hello, Maple. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Uh, lights at flashlights at night. That's not a night nymph, right? Or night wisp. Promising wealth, fame, power, it can all be yours. Yeah, it's a night wisp. You got wisps. You got a wisp problem. You got wisps. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You got wisps. A lot of wisps in this home, huh? There once was a man named Cold Roger. Yeah, you got wisped. First, I whisk ya. Then, I wisp ya. Maybe it's Dracula. Oh, Dracula's outside. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. I went to our flashlights to get the highest lumens, and I'll fucking kill you if you don't come out here and fight me. They got a Dracula outside. Shit's scary. Hello, Patty. Hey, uh, so... Mm. I think I found some kind of door. 
Oh, that's a portal. Like maybe I should step through it. Yeah, that's a portal. I think Patty portal out I think here. Oh, she's Patty Portal. I I know what's up. You're Patty Portal. I know this shit. This is what's up. You you got Patty Portal. You got that portal desire. Patty, don't go in the portal, Patty. Patty, please. You're better than this, Patty. Patty, you ain't gotta go into the portal, Patty. Be wary of the portal, Patty. There are doorways to different worlds in your home, Patty. Be careful, Patty. You gotta be- you gotta- you gotta pay attention, Patty. You're getting portaled. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Uh huh. Like I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know. Uh huh. I see something slithering under near the sink. Uh huh. Like uh, little tendrils or like tendrils or you know whatever. Tendrils. When I turned uh -huh. the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like under you know like that little soap thing. Uh huh. Everything. Uh huh. Like, I know it's somewhere. Okay. Uh huh. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Uh huh. Still gotta be hiding in here. Soap sprite, right? I got tendrils. Uh, occupy bathrooms, feed off the hands that use them. I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and you know, I could see something slithering under near the sink with its little tendrils. Nothing was there. So maybe a soap sprite. Maybe a soap sprite. Maybe a pipe hob. Yeah, the pipe hob does not have tendrils, is the thing. The. The soap sprite does have tendrils. Yeah, we think in soap. Oh, dude, soap from Modern Warfare is inside my bathroom right now. Nice. Hey, eighty percent's all right. Eighty percent's okay. We could have done better. Could have done a lot better. But 80%'s fine. That's a passing grade. Could be- compl We got the fifth day in the job. Pretty good. Dude. Human DNA confirmed. Oh, okay. Ooh, thunderpeak.mv. I fucking love movies. Brendan asking again, what would you make the One Piece if you were a gold D Roger? Uh, fucking an IOU note would be the funniest fucking thing ever. IMO. Not like the friends you made along the way. Not like the lost history, right? But if I- if I was in control of what the One Piece would be, it'd be very fucking funny. If it was just an IOU. That's like IMO, that's like the best fucking treasure. It literally is just a piece. It's it, it's a framed it's 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 two billion dollars in blockbuster. Right? It's two billion dollars in uh what is it? Blockbuster stock. There's a person in the PC wallpaper. Oh hi. Grug! Oh, it's the Bushman. He's there. It's just framed. Two billion dollars worth of blockbuster stock. Great American hikes. Here you're gonna be able to see nature, and nature is pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's all natural out here. Welcome to Thunder Peak. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous, yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. This is what you'll need to get to Thunder Peak. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Very important for those sore toesies. Make sure to bring water bottle. You want to stay hydrated, so drink all the water that you can. Make sure to bring iron sword. If you see any enemies abound, you'll have to kill them with your iron sword. Make sure to bring climbing gloves as well, in case you encounter any rocky surfaces. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park Guides before embarking. The Trail Thunder Peak Trail 
Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks, leading through a natural cave, and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Yeah. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lights, it means you're in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely quiet. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. You want to show those puppies out, right? Those dogs are barking, right? And then, make sure to send me pictures of your feet. Oh, wait a minute, this is a weird video. Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. My... Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. Ah, never should have come here! You've entered the Skyrim dungeon. Fight the trolls to pass. You made it. Now enjoy the view. Wow. I love Thunder Peak. What an excellent little mountain range. Nice. What an excellent little mountain range. How cute. How quaint. Oh, we got new mail. Is there mouse mail again? Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. As of 4 3 9, 4 30, 1996 this address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive email messages. If you still need support from HSH, please email us at support at hsh.mail. Thank you. Oh, it's Saturday time. The mouse has been destroyed. This is so sad. I am heartbroken about this. Saturday is for the dads. We got that weekend shift. All right, is Carol going to call us again? Why are you working on Saturday? I had to pick up shifts because of a uh, lack of employees, so they're making me work the weekend. Saturday is here to stay. I remember all of these. I've, I've absorbed all the knowledge that I need to absorb. Saturday is here to stay. Give me the new ones, Carol. Call me, Carol. Oh, uh, Carol's really going crazy now. Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Okay, my body, my body is prepared. All right, we have autumn vines. Uh, those are red and orange leaves. Dizzy, lightheaded, and blissful. Bed hag. Oh, you got to be wary of the bed hags. Oh, bed hags can be beneficial, actually. Oh, a Dorcha? Dorcha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. Okay. And a great lurking shadow. Watch for Dorcha. Hi, Pamela. Yes, hi again. I am calling for the last time to tell you that the advice you sent us was useless. So, thanks for nothing. Just the other night, I heard singing again. So, I've sought business elsewhere. I have a private security team investigating the greenhouse as we speak. Oh, they're dying. What on earth? Okay, so it was the flower. Got it. It was the flower. I was fucked up. Oh, <laughs> hello, me old chum. <laughs> Neighbor's doorway, huh? Feels like a lot of... This game is very Celtic core, isn't it? Um, confusion of step through as well as parallelism. Hello, Brittany. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles. Wine before. Sprite! This stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Holy shit. Please wine hold. Sprite, finally. I've been waiting. Puka! Uh, Wine Sprite, Wine Sprite, Wine Sprite. It's gotta be a Wine Sprite. He's getting fucking crunked in there. 
Uh, broken glasses and the wine having a rot. That's a wine sprite. I fucking know my shit. I know my wine. I know my wine sprite. Uh, but I gotta learn. I need time to learn here. Warlock remnant. Tell me about the warlock. Uh, whispers, sighting bearded figures. Uh, mere echoes of the former selves. Manipulate small household objects. Got it. What about a troll? A troll! Giant guy. Giant guy. He out there. Giant guy. Hi, Ruth. Holy shit! Is it wood secretions? Please hold. Finally, do wood secretions stinky? A foul odor. Oh, the kids are overly- Yeah, wood secretions. Finally! Oh, hell yeah. This would be secreting. I love it when the wood gets nice and wet. I'm a big fan of when the wood gets nice and wet. I'm, I'm really happy. Oh, what's a puka? Oh, fuck. Replace- They replace common household pets. Got it. Hello, Howard. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently, or if I ate fruit in public or something, and told me to call you, hoping you'll be more helpful. Something is watching me outside. Uh, can never get a good look at them, but they've seen their eyes. Maybe a spriggan? Okay, not a spriggan. What about a reanimation? Um, smell, diseases. It, it, we gotta find eyes. It's gotta be their eyes, right? Great lurking shadow. Can't be a Dorcha. Okay. It's their eyes. Their horrible eyes. Is it a troll? Are we already troll posting? Deflate their bodies. Fully inflated. So the trolls go nice and big and round. Got it. So it can't be a troll. Interesting. The eyes are obvious. Something is moving around in the trees outside. It's not a night gnome again, right? It could be a night gnome again. I'm, I'm gonna lock down night gnome. What does the leprechaun do again? They are in the house. They're not outside. Got it. So let's take a little look-see. Did Spriggan mention being watched? Okay, they asked about mowing the lawn. So the cops think it's a Spriggan. So it's probably a Spriggan then. I'm gonna guess that. If the cops think it's that, I mean, I'm probably gonna go with that. Do not eat wild fruit or veg. New caller, new caller, new caller. Hello, caller. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? So it's the autumn one. Please hold. I think it's the autumn one, because I think the autumn vines make people feel blissful. So yeah, easy. Easy pick on that one. 100% autumn vines. Things are good here, brother. Things are very, very good, brother. There are no problems here, brother. Bask in the glow of the autumnal vines. Enjoy their seeking presence and let them fill you with the light that you need. <laughs> oh, new call. I was too hard into the bit. Hi, my name is Jill. Hi. Okay. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Please. Hold. Neighbor's doorway? What does a Dreamweaver do again? It's not a Dreamweaver. Um, my family, they aren't my family. Okay, so it's not that. It's maybe, let's see here. Neighbor's doorway, what's parallelism? I think parallelism? Maybe that? Either that or, um, a memory wisp. No, it wouldn't be a memory wisp. Oh, dude, what if it was just a carbon- Fuck you, what if it's just carbon monoxide? I think it's a neighbor's doorway, but what if it was just carbon monoxide? Maybe she just stupid. 
It's just a gas leak in her house, and I'm sending her. I'm sending her a file about alternate realities and augmented realities, and I'm like, it's got to be this. It's got to be this. It's got to be this. And she's just sitting there, dead in her desk chair, fucking blood leaking out of her mouth. It's just carbon monoxide. Everything's just a gas leak. Brand new ending to this game where you're just like, you got a gas leak. You're going crazy. You got a gas leak. You're going crazy. Hi, Clear. Uh-huh. It's quite big too, which has me worried that what Fae feast might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Poo poo? Rotten eggs. Is it a Fae feast? Is it a Fortnite feast? I feel like it's a Fae feast. That, that seems it said dining room, it did say table, but it doesn't say that the Fae feast like smells. I would just maybe they just assume that it smells. All the family should partake in the feast. What about the pile? Oh, the horde? I don't think it's the horde. I think it's the feast. I think it's Mr. Feast. Mr. Feast, he comes to your house and he makes you eat food. Mr. Feast, d d don't be mean if you don't eat it. It's rude. No, horde, horde is a this. A horde is a... Could be a horde. Thinking Fae Feast, though. Let's see, no, 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 no. We're just gonna go through them all. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Pile of crap and rotten eggs. The horde does say rotten food. But it's on the table. So I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cheeky. I'm gonna go for Fae Feast. Because it's on the table. I'm thinking feast. I'm th I'm thinking Mr. Feast. It's bees. Obviously it's bees. I just don't think it'd be the horde because we haven't done Fey Feast yet. Right? And the the Fey Feast does say that it can attract cockroaches or carpenter ants, so obviously it would probably smell. Right? It's just a gas leak. Hey, Paul. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible, and every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. Bed bugs. I'm fresh out of ideas. What's bed bugs? That one's, it's finally bed bugs. Um, they're not harmless to humans. Is it a bed hag, though? Itchy kids with nightmares. I think it's just bed bugs. Bed bugs are resilient to pesticides. Bed bugs don't give you nightmares. Do the Does the bed hag give you nightmares? See, the bed hag doesn't give you nightmares, though. The bed hags are beneficial to a home. You want a bed hag. Not a dream weaver. I think it's just bed. I think this is just bed bugs. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm I'm vibing with bed bugs heavily, because like you can't fucking get rid of them. You have to like you have to like heat treat everything. You have to like one one hundred percent clean out your fucking house. Two, uh, you have to like call uh, exterminators or go through an insane amount of shit to be able to get rid of bed bugs. No, sorry, Charles. Home's heater has been having issues. Home's heater has been having issues? What makes shit cold? Oh, damn. It's gotta be bees. Obvious. It's bees. Is it a laundry gnome? It is not a laundry gnome. Heaters have pipes, but I don't think it would go that hard. What just makes shit cold? This shit water. Damn, bitch. It's not a warlock. What just makes shit cold? Do I have anything that just makes shit cold? Your teeth hurt, but daddy is on the phone right now. Maybe just carbon monoxide. It's gotta be something with the teeth. 
Oh, Dorcha. Okay. No, 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 no. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What about a leprechaun? Long term damage to heaters. Ah, braces. They mentioned, they're specifically mentioning teeth here. You got a leprechaun, Buster. Bitch, you have a leprechaun. Sorry, the leprechaun stole all your gold implants. There's a tiny little creature inside your home, Buster. Better be careful. Uh, they got a bunch of tiny little creatures in your house. Uh, be nice and be careful, buddy. You got jacksepticeyes eyes in the walls, dude. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange cushion type sound coming from outside. TROLL! By keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch. He's on. got TROLL! They got three and whole movies and they that. still gotta steal clothes? Please. Yeah, you got a troll, dude. What you gotta do is you gotta go outside. Uh, you have to walk up to the troll. Sign them up for a Twitch.tv account. Have them follow Twitch.tv slash Daniel. They'll say something fucked up. I'll ban them. That's how you take care of them. I fuck. <laughs> There's some kind of troll outside making itself nice and big and round. And uh, how do I deflate this situation? That one had to have been a troll. Had to have been a troll. I heard this whoopee cushion noise outside. Yeah, it's a troll. He is inflating and deflating and inflating and deflating. I got another call. Hello. Hello. I saw your commercial and I thought. Hello, Sheila. In case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm... I'm quite... Bees! Alert, you know. It's not bees. No, it's a tea nymph. If there's anything I should be worried about. It's not right bees. Now. I wish it was I bees. It's not bees. Please hold. It's a it's a tea sprite. I can't see it. I, I the, the the pewter turned off, but she found tea leaves. It's a tea sprite. It is bees. It's not bees. It's a tea sprite. Misdirect? No way. She would have found a bunch of honey if it was bees. She would find a ton of sticky residue if it was bees. Obviously, Brendan, it's a house fire. Obviously, every single one of these is carbon monoxide poisoning. You ever see the movie Memento? That movie is all about just a guy who will not, refuses to get his house fucking checked for carbon monoxide. And he's like, oh, I got these memory problems and I need to get tattoos on my arms to remember shit. And it's like, no, just move, idiot. Just fucking move. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been, um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Bed hag. I'm feeling bed hag. Uh, had trouble sleeping, shortness of breath, uh, worried about spreading, all our kids have asthma and severe allergies. Could also just be carbon monoxide, you're right, it could be. It could be a bed hag, or it could be carbon monoxide. I feel like it's gonna be a carbon monoxide. You know, I'm just gonna shoot for the moon, I'm shooting for the stars. Is it finally time for carbon monoxide? Is it finally time? Or is it time for a bed hag? Yeah, bed hag doesn't affect adults. A bed hag only affects children with asthma. This is a bed hag trick. Check black mold. I can't check any of them. The pewter's down. I feel like this one's a trick. Yes, it does, Brendan. Is it a bed hag? Fine, I'm gonna say bed hag, but if I'm wrong, I'm blaming you. I'm gonna say bed hag. But if it's not a bed hag, I'm gonna come and get you. I'm going to be the bed hag under your bed, and I'm going to be causing lots and lots of brand new problems, right? I'm going to steal all your fucking salt and pepper shakers and keep them under my bed, right? And then when you're sleeping at night, I'm going to fucking shake them. You're going to wake up, there's going to be piles of salt and piles of pepper everywhere. 
You're going to think that you're fucking Lot from the Bible after I completely make a, a recreation of a loved one who lives with you out of salt. You think that they looked at Sodom and Gomorrah. They got Bible tricked. Well, guess what, idiot? They were just out shopping and you fucking fell for it. You got hagged. If it's wrong, I'm hagging you. Hello, Carla. So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound. Brendan, the phone. I answered the phone. Yeah, but what if we're right, Brendan? I'll get you a snack. If I see you at a convention, I'll buy you a treat, okay? If you're right and you were part of this stream, you see me at a con somewhere, I'll get you a fucking cookie or something. I will buy you a butter cookie, right? Or something. You're going to be like, Brendan, where's my butter cookie? Where's my butter cookie? Oh, shit. What is a uh, weird sounds from the walls? Is this bees? Oh, is this bees? Please hold. Oh, whistle fungus. Whistling fungus. We got you, bitch. Don't worry, Carla. I know about the whistling fungus. It's got to be bees. Got to be bees. It's always bees. It's got to be Goku. Goku is inside the house, and he will persist. Oh, new call. Hello, welcome to the Home Safety Hotline. My name is Brent Daniel. How can I help you? Hello, Rachel. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Not meatball. Uh, that's gotta be the fucking. Where is it? The 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 pookie, right? Does the pookie leave a bad? The puka leave a bad smell. A uh, foul smell signifi sig signifies decay. It's a puka. You got pookaed. Dead dog smell. You got pukas. I'm sorry. Hey, it's me, Goku. Your drywall looks strong. Let me fight it. Hey, it's me, Goku. I hear you have bees in your wall. Don't worry. I'll eat every single one. What if a fucking what if a fucking Z fighter broke into your home, right, and just started eating a bunch of bees inside of your walls? Flipper! Holy shit, he's a mouse. They turned him into a mouse. Oh my god, they got Flipper. Does that mean they got 10 pinball? Oh, 100%! I got a coupon. Bitch, we got it. Bitch, we got it. We got 100% for another day. We got a new coupon. Oh, so, 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 so fuck yeah, dude. Logging in user guest 36. Under soil check complete. Human DNA. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got a new coupon. Congratulations. What kind of coupon did I get? We're pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Uh, keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Awesome. I got a glamour stone. Only twelve ninety nine ninety nine. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for the glamour stone. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our Glamour Stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Wham, glam, thank you, ma'am. Keep up the great work, employee. What a deal. What a deal. Ooh, entry browser. What's in here? Was there a new thing in here? Oh, no, I unlocked this so I can look at these things in my own time now. There's a hole in my wallpaper now. Interesting. And interesting. Where'd that hole come from? Why'd they put a hole there? That's a... I can't click on the hole. How do I click on the hole? What if you could click on the hole? I hope there's not a guy in there. I gotta clock in. What is it, Sunday? I gotta clock in. It's Sunday, bitch. I gotta... Bitch, it's Sunday. I gotta clock in, bitch. Don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry about that hole, Brendan. Don't be not afraid of the hole, Brendan. The hole is warm and welcoming. We love the soil. I'm clocking in. Oh. The trial hath begun. Okay. I love I love getting trialed. We are many. We are above. We are the followers of our queen. What are we? Yeah. Showcase thy knowledge. Finally, bees. We're getting riddled now. Riddled, riddle dd. Figure out my riddles three. I I'm not living yet. I clatter. I am small. I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please Animation. Hold. Forge ahead. Animations are like little dolls. It's bees again. It's always bees. Um. Oh, nice face. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. 
I am friend to the water of the sky? Black mold? Oh, rain nymph. Rain nymph? Please hold. Yeah, that's uh, the water. Yummy, yummy water. I'm feeling I'm vibing with yummy, yummy water, and we haven't gotten that one yet, so. Friend to the water of the sky. Press on, employee. Okay. Let me in. Let me in. Um, I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. Housefly, you're a housefly. Please hold. Duh. What, you, what am I, stupid? You're going. <laughs> Duh. Rejoice. 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 I love to rejoice. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? This one's tough. Uh, I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? Uh, excess. Too much. Too much in excess. The picture is telling me a mole or a... Closet Labyrinth? Please hold. Yeah, because Closet Labyrinth would take, like, gold and shit, right? Expand thy mind. Wealth. Fame. Fortune. It can all be yours. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Oh, shit. I don't under- I don't know this one. We are companions of the garden. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Gophers or moles? Shit. Ugh. Spriggan? Please hold. Are we thinking Spriggan? Or is it the seedling? I feel like it's the seedling. Because we haven't done the seedling yet. We've done the Spriggan. Compel. Oh, they compel violence. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let go of thy stilted soul. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? House fire? That's a house fire, right? You're a house fire. Please hold. Classic house fire. Learning about all these new bros. Why are Doobie dancing? Descend. Oh, did I fuck it up? Did it reset the trial? Damn, but wasn't a house fire. You know, I should have gone by the picture. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What? The Dorcha? Oh, Dorcha did say one who delivers. The Tangus. How much more do you want me to descend? Hello, Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely for all this time. You've been providing excellent... Okay, you talk. I love being promoted. Thank you, Carol. Yep, awesome, Carol. Please promote me. I'm getting promoted so fucking hard. Thank you, Carol. I fucking love being promoted. Oh. The soft and loamy soil. Is that Carol? Please be not afraid. Come close. Okay, Carol. Promote me. I fucking love getting promoted. You're going to turn me into a rat, aren't you? You are, aren't you? I'm a junior supervisor! I 
got promoted real. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Dude, I did really good. I got promoted. To- <laughs> I got promoted. I did fucking awesome. I thought I was going to get moused. Well, I did it. Fuck yeah, dude. I fucking own this game. I don't even need to go back and figure out what the coupons are. We got the good ending right away. Love how love how they ended it. Perfect ending, honestly. Thought they were going to mouse me, but they didn't mouse me. I, I enjoyed that. 